Hey Fox, how is going? Today I will show you how to jailbreak your Amazon Fire Twist Stick in 2023. And what's a jailbreak, you may ask? Well, jailbreak is going to allow you to download any application from the internet to your Fire Stick and not necessarily from the limited Amazon App Store. And even if you're not tech savvy, it's really easy to do. Just stick with me. First of all, you have to get an app called Downloader and there is a really high chance that you already have it on your device. So if that's the case, then just keep to the next part of the video. But if you don't have the loader yet, or you're not sure how to properly use it, or how to set it up, then watch this part of the video as well. So to get a downloader, we simply have to go to search, click on that magnifying glass over here, go to search, and start typing downloader here. As you can see, it already popped out here for me at the bottom, if it didn't in your case, then just type in the whole name of the app, which is once again Downloader. Click on it. And here's the application which you need to see download. Here's how it looks inside, but we are not ready to use it yet because we also have to set it up. To do so, we'll go to Settings. Click on that gear icon in the right part of the screen. Then let's go down to My Fire TV. And here you have to go to developer options, make sure to enable ADB debugging. Then we go to install unknown apps and turn that option on for the downloader. So what it does, it allows our downloader application to install other apps from the internet and not from the limited Amazon app store. And that's exactly what we need to do in order to fully jailbreak the device. But also if you use a newer version of Fire TV Stick, the developer options here might be hidden by default. So if you go to My Fire TV and you don't see the developer options, don't worry. It's really easy to make them appear. In that case, you just go to About, select Fire TV Stick here, then click on the middle button on your remote four or seven times and do it fast. Let's do it now. As you can see now for me, it says no need, you are already a developer. That's in my case. In your case, it's going to say that you have become a developer now. So if you go back a bit, you will finally see developer options. So once again, just go here, enable ADB debugging, go to install known apps and turn that option on for the downloader. After that, we are ready to use the loader, but there is one more thing which I would really recommend doing before actually accessing the loader on your device. To be transparent, it's not mandatory, but I really recommend doing it. It's of course connecting to a VPN. There is a lot of different VPNs out there, but I do recommend NordVPN because they're fast and they got a great app for Fire Sticks and other devices as well, such as your mobile phones, your laptop, PC, or any other device. And they're not expensive for such a premium service. So what a VPN does, it hides all the things that you do online. So your landlord or your internet provider will not be able to tell what apps, what websites you're accessing online. And that really comes in handy, especially if you're accessing adult apps. NordVPN is also great for blocking apps, blocking malware, especially when loading files, and accessing geo-blocked content. So if some content is not available in your country, you can just open VPN, connect to a different location, and you will be able to access that content now. So if you want to get a VPN, you can use my link, which will be in a pinned comment below this video. If you use my link, you'll get one month of NordVPN totally for free which is a great deal. Once again, using a VPN is not mandatory, but it's a big plus if you don't want your internet provider or your landlord to know what you're doing. After we got a VPN connected, we are safe to use the loader. And here in that search bar, we have to type a code, which is going to be 28907. So once again, it's 28907 and press on go. Now the website is going to open for you. So now as you can see a website opened, you have to scroll down a bit. Here you see apps of different categories, but we are looking for the app stores. So click here and then a list of app stores is going to open. So here you see the Aurora store, click on it. Then there might be an ad which opens for you. If it does, just click on close because if you click open here, it would mess everything up for you. So click close here. And now a new page has loaded. You also have to scroll down and keep scrolling until you see that little download button. It has to look exactly like that. Do not click on any ads here, which also may have the download button listed. So click on it. Now the download process has started. Then we'll have to click on install in the right bottom corner. 
And after the app is installed, do not press on open yet, instead click on done. And we are doing it this way so we could delete the installation file because we don't need it anymore, but it clogs the memory of your Fire Stick device. So always delete the installation files after actually installing the apps. So click delete and delete once again. Now if you go to the list of apps on your device, you'll find the Aurora Store here. Let's open it. You have to accept the terms of services. Click on accept, then press on next. But here sadly you might encounter a problem because you won't be able to click on next. Though it's really easy to resolve the problem. We have the mouse toggle app for that, which allows us to use the mouse toggle or mouse cursor in any application on the Fire TV sticks. By the way, I do have a tutorial on how to set up a mouse toggle. We are not going to deep dive into that right now, but I'll leave a link on how to set up a mouse toggle in the description below this video. So if you don't have a mouse toggle yet, make sure to watch this video as well and set up a mouse toggle for yourself because it's going to make your job way easier. So now that we have mouse toggle enabled, here it is. We could easily press on the next button, which was impossible without a mouse cursor. So click on next here. Here you can select what teams you'd like to install. So they have dark teams or light teams, it's totally up to you, totally up to your preferences. On my Fire Stick, I definitely prefer the white or light team. Then we we'll click on next. Here you can also select colors which you like the most. I'll just go with the original one, click next again. We'll need to grant those permissions here in order to install the apps from Aurora Store and the installer permission as well. So the settings are going to open. We press on install unknown apps and then enable this option for the Aurora store just like we did for the downloader app. Then go back to Aurora and you can use the anonymous option to log in. And here in the app you can either choose for you, top charts or categories. If you go for categories you'll just find lots and lots of apps from different categories. So you can open any of those to see what's going on inside. Or you can go to top charts and you'll see top three apps in your location top crossing or in other words the apps which are bringing in the most cash for the Aurora store. Trendings are those which are becoming popular right now or top paid. So those apps which are paid but they are the most unloaded. And that's it. That's how you can jailbreak your Fire Stick in 2023. Once again make sure to check out the video in the description. This way you'll learn how you can set up a mouse toggle on your Fire Stick. Once again it will be helpful not only in this app but in lots of different apps as well such as media players, web browsers, and many more. Or you might as well check out my tutorials on how to watch sports for free, the best apps for live TV, or just leave a like and subscribe my channel for more tutorials just like this one. Have a good one!